In the bustling town of Dimsdale, there lived a man named Doug Dimmadome, a name synonymous with success and prosperity. Doug was known far and wide as the owner of the renowned Dimsdale Dimmadome, a colossal stadium that hosted everything from concerts to sports events. The Dimmadome was a symbol of grandeur and luxury, and Doug had built his empire from the ground up. In the early days, Doug's life was marked by hard work and determination. He had a vision for the Dimmadome, and he spared no expense to turn that dream into a reality. With each passing year, the Dimmadome grew bigger and more extravagant, drawing people from all over the world. Doug became a millionaire, then a billionaire, and his fame knew no bounds. But as the saying goes, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Doug Dimmadome was not excluded from that. Success had gone to his head, and he started engaging in reckless behavior. Parties at the Dimmadome turned into wild, extravagant affairs with no regard for the law or morality. Doug's greed knew no bounds, and he soon turned to darker pursuits. He began using the Dimmadome as a front for his illicit drug trade. Hidden in plain sight amidst the chaos of events and performances, his wealth and influence allowed him to manipulate the police force, keeping them at bay. However, with each passing day the walls closed in on Doug, law enforcement agencies began to suspect something nefarious was happening within the Dimmadome. They launched an investigation, but Doug was always one step ahead, using his vast resources to cover his tracks. As Doug's empire of crime expanded, so did his arrogance. He believed himself invincible, un untouchable. He disregarded the signs of his impending downfall until one fateful evening. During a particularly lavish party at the Dimmadome, Doug's hubris got the better of him. He indulged in so many speedballs, we're gonna say speedballs, that his judgment was severely impaired. He stumbled and tumbled down a grand staircase, landing in a pile of shit. But the smell was shit, and he was in shit. He was stuck in a pile of shit trying to get out, but it, he couldn't because it was too thick and it was too creamy. The, sh the shit was too thick and too stinky. Panic set in as he realized that he couldn't escape the shit. The more he struggled, the deeper he sank into the shit and the overwhelming stench engulfed him. The shit was in his nose, it was in his ears, it was in his eyes, he couldn't see. Doug was gasping for air, desperately trying to crawl out of the pile of shit, but it was no use. He had inhaled too much shit and his strength waned with each passing moment as the lights of the Dimmadome flickered above. Doug Dimmadome, once proud owner of an empire, took his last breath, surrounded by the very darkness that he had created. And so the rise of Doug fucking Dimmadome came to a grotesque and derelict ending. The Dimsdale Dimmadome, once a symbol of grandeur, would forever be tainted by the chaotic happenings that unfolded within its walls. Doug Dimmadome fell into a pile of shit and died. He died in one of the worst ways I could imagine. I mean, it's up there. It's really up there. It's Doug Dimmadome, guys. It's Doug Dimmadome, owner of the, the Dimsdale Dimmadome. You know him. <clears throat>